Today's tutorial is about the upgraded lightning bow or storm bow. What does it do and what are the hidden steps you need to take to upgrade it? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to upgrade the lightning bow so you can get back to playing. All that's coming up in today's tutorial for the second zombie map in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Hi, I'm Crash Power, and thank you for checking out this video. Here's a general outline of the steps we're going to cover today to upgrade the lightning bow. The first thing that we need to do is go to the top of the castle and collect the broken arrow. Then we'll need to ignite three different bonfires that are located in various spots around the map. When that's done, we'll head down to the pyramid area and wall run to activate five etchings on the wall. We'll then locate and fill three urns with zombie souls which will allow us to electrify the three bonfires we found on the map. Once that's completed, we'll reforge the lightning arrow. And finally, we'll return to the pyramid area and charge the arrow in the lightning shrine to complete the upgrade process for our lightning bow. At the top of the castle near the death ray, there's a small tower with a lightning symbol on it. On top of that tower, you'll notice a weather vane. Shoot the weather vane with a charge shot from the Wrath of the Ancients bow. Once you hit it, it'll cause the bricks around the symbol to crumble, dropping the broken lightning arrow. Walk up to it, hold the action button to pick it up, then you're ready for the next step. Outside the map, there are three bonfires that must be shot and ignited with the Wrath of the Ancients bow. The first can be seen by looking out of the castle right outside and next to the bell tower. The second bonfire can be seen as soon as you leave the spawn near the KRM-262 shotgun wall by. However, if you carefully aim, you can shoot it from the same location right here. You'll have to go to the rocket launch pad to locate the third bonfire. If you exit the tunnel from the teleporter, the bonfire is on the right, high up on the cliffside. Once all three are lit, you're ready for the next step. There are five etchings of a gust of wind on the walls in the pyramid room that are now glowing. They look like this. I'm going to switch to theater mode and show you real quick where each of the five etchings are. Here's the first one. Second one is here. Third one's in this little nook right here. And the last two are here and right here. During an anti-gravity phase, you need to wall run and activate all five of the etchings without falling to the floor. Each time you activate one, they'll make this sound to let you know you've activated it. If you fall to the floor before all five are successfully activated, it'll make a little buzzer sound to let you know you have to start all over again. But if you complete all five successfully, it'll make this sound. And that lets you know you're ready for the next step. Three urns around the map will now be sparking and generating lightning. You'll need to fill each of them with zombie souls to complete this next step. The first urn is inside the bell tower beneath the steps on the left. The next urn is located above double tap as soon as you enter the small room on the second floor. And the final urn is down at the rocket location, right here opposite of the teleporter. You'll need to fill each urn with five zombie souls. By killing zombies within their proximity, you'll know that you're doing this successfully. When you see a purple stream of smoke heading toward the urn, you can use any weapon to kill the five zombies. You don't have to use the bow. Once you have five zombie souls in an urn, draw back on the bow for a few seconds until you get a charge shot. And you'll notice that the arrow is sparking. Hold the charge shot and head to the nearest bonfire. With this bonfire, you won't be able to use the shortcut I showed you earlier, so right here is where you go. You'll need to shoot the bonfire with the sparking arrow, and once you've done this successfully, the bonfire will have lightning circling the flames. Once you've electrified all three bonfires, head to the top of the castle, and on top of the structure that has the weather vane on it, you'll notice a bunch of lightning and purple clouds. At the base of that tower, you'll see a small cloud of purple fog. Walk up to it and hit the action button to give it the arrow. The arrow will then rise up into the purple smoke, and about five seconds later, a reforged arrow will drop back down. Collect it by holding the action button, then head down into the pyramid room for the final step to complete the upgrade process. 
In the pyramid room, the arrow needs to be placed on the shrine with the lightning symbol on it. it. Looks like this. Hold the action button to place it in and you'll get a max ammo. Now you need to collect 20 zombie souls by killing 20 zombies. But before you kill the zombies, regardless of where you're killing them from, they have to be in the pyramid area or just past the start of the steps for the souls to collect. And it doesn't matter which side of the pyramid they're on as long as they're in this small area. And if you and a teammate are upgrading more than one bow at a time, the souls from your kills will go to the bow that the zombie was closest to where you killed him, regardless of which bow you're actually trying to upgrade. When you've collected enough souls, the shrine will make a sound like this. You also know you're done because the shrine will no longer collect blue lines of smoke. Now walk up to the shrine, hold the action button to place the bow in there. And in a few seconds, you can return to the shrine, hold the action button to pick up your upgraded lightning bow. <laughs> A single charge shot from this upgraded bow will absolutely fuck up anything within its proximity. It will even lift Panzer Soledats off the ground momentarily, causing minor damage and giving you plenty of time to finish him off. This is the most badass bow in the goddamn game. It's a combination of the elemental wind and lightning staff from Ords and Zombies on steroids. It's even the best bow for reviving teammates safely. One charge shot near a downed teammate gives you plenty of time to safely revive your teammates without any worries because any zombies nearby are taken care of and a panzer will have to wait till he gets back on the ground to attack you. <laughs> I'm really excited about this bow. This is my favorite map in Black Ops 3 Zombies so far. I do love Shadows of Evil. Giant is great, but by far this is the most exciting zombie map yet. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe. Whether you want to dominate your friends on the zombie leaderboard or just have the bragging rights. I started a mission on this channel two years ago to connect with fellow zombie gamers, helping to discover the secrets to make the game easier so they can master their favorite zombie map. This tutorial did not come out the absolute first day the DLC came out because I wanted to make sure that you had quality information that's not only accurate, but it's a lot easier to understand and helps you get it done after watching it one time. So subscribe, it's free, it only takes a moment, and I'd really appreciate your support. I also have other great tutorials on Origins and Black Ops 3 Zombie with more being added all the time. So subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.